Let's see here. What was clue number two? I believe it began in James 1.22. Be doers of the word and not only hearers. Hmm. Maybe verse 23 will make that a bit clearer. For if you hear only, but you don't do, you're like a man with a mirror, only blind and confused. What does that mean for a bot who is seeking out here in the night for a Bible and thinking about what he might need to complete this clue? Aha! I have heard, and now I must do. I must be like the man, but keep a mirror to my face so I won't forget and no memory will erase. Something reflective is what I must need. Wait, what's that in the sky, traveling at a high speed? It looks like a star, how it twinkles and shimmers, sailing around moons as it flies and it glimmers, racing by planets as it shoots through the night. According to my data, why, it's a satellite. Now that is quite good, for it has a mirror. The question is, how do I get nearer? Welcome to the Astroport, Floor 7, Crew Cabin and Shuttle Entry. Thank you for that welcome. It was awfully polite. Now, I hear you have a rocket heading to the satellite. You see, I need a mirror, and the satellite has one. It's the biggest and the shiniest, and as of now, well, I have none. I'll head up with the rocket and borrow that mirror so shiny. I mean, I won't weigh the shuttle down. After all, I'm tiny. If I get this mirror, I'll have completed the second clue. Off my list, I'll check James 1, beginning in verse 22. Welcome to the Rocket Cove Astroport. Thank you for joining us for today's launch. Tickets, please. Next. 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 Hey, mister, can I? No, you can't touch the ticket scanner. But I? No. Mm? Next. Uh, thank you, sir. Hey, guys. I can already see the tip of the shuttle from here. Next. Looks like a Titan 230. Lots of power, easy to fly. Next. You know, that rocket can withstand 3,000 degrees of heat. Next. Do they sell hot dogs here? I could really go for a hot dog. I don't know. Next. Hey, mister, can I? No, you can't touch the ticket scanner. Oh. Hurry, right? It's almost time. Coming. What's the matter? Still bummed you couldn't figure out where Erwin might have gone? What? Oh, no. I just wanted to touch the ticket scanner, but thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Sorry, bud. You tried your best to find him, though. Come on, let's go find a good spot. Oh, hey, you guys! Over here! This is perfect! We'll be able to see the rocket, plus the hot dog guy is only ten steps away! Well, as long as the hot dog guy is close. Oh, it's starting! Welcome to the Rocket Cove Astroport where we are always on the hunt to discover more about that mysterious place up in the sky, space. Today, we invite you to join us as we launch our rocket, Eagle 7, to the Herschel Satellite Telescope. Now, please sit back and relax as we prep for blast-off. And thank you for joining us at the Astroport. Swipe your crew ID. Huh? I said, welcome to floor seven, crew cabin and shuttle entry. Please swipe your crew ID. Crew ID? What is that? Something tells me I better stat. No ID swiped. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Security to floor seven. Two, three, four, uh, two, three, four, uh, two, three, four, uh, men. I smell an infiltrator, a trespasser, a meddler. Uh-oh. Aha, you, small bot, halt. <laughs> Get back here, men, stop that bot. I need that mirror up in space. It's the shiniest of all, and so I'll race to the end of this hall, then go right. Time to strap myself onto this flight. Idea, let's take a selfie. Oh, yeah. You get in front of me because I'm taller. All right. Hey, is everyone in the picture? Look at mommy, Chester. Chester, smile. Say cheese. Cheese. Hey, down in 
front. Logan! What? I can't see. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please find your seats and get out those cameras. The control room is ready, and our launch is about to begin. This is launch control, preparing Eagle Center for launch. 1080 go. Guys, guys! Quiet! Go. Shh! Just watch! But it... Go. But he... Wyatt, sit down! Erwin! Yeah, yeah, go. we know! You can't find him! No! Erwin, he's go. here! Er, he's there! On the rocket! This is the flight director. We will have permission to launch. Uh, up and away into the sky. Here I go to the satellite. Goodbye down below, people of Earth. Here's to hoping this launch doesn't hurt. Uh. Wyatt's right. Erwin is on the rocket. Four. Dudes, that little bot is extreme. Three. What do we do? What do we do? Two. There's only one thing to do. We stop him! One. Come on, squad! Let's stop that bot! Yeah. Yeah. Quick! Behind this building! Can someone signal the airship? Already on it! Explorer wristband, call Rupert, please! Good one, Charles! Hello! Uh, Rupert! Oh! Uh, Gabriella! <laughs> How can I help you? Is someone else at the complex with you? Uh, well, just a little trivia game with the maintenance bots. I am really, uh, killing it, as you would say. That's nice. I need you to send the airship to the Astroport. We found our rogue bot. Right away, Gabriella. And don't forget to put it in camo mode. Camo mode? You know, make it invisible. Righto. It should be there in a jiffy. What's a jiffy? Here comes the airship. What? Where? The heat waves in the air, just in front of us. It's a trace of the airship's accelerators. Just follow me to the door. You heard it. Everybody in. Go, go, go! Ow! That wasn't the door. I'm okay. To the cockpit. All right. Everyone strapped in? Good to go, Abby. Here we go. Airship initiate space mode. a better view of the rocket than we thought, huh, man? Sure it did, Logan. Um, hate to ruin the moment, but we've got a robot clinging to the Herschel telescope up ahead. What could Erwin want with the telescope? Can you move the airship closer, Gabby? Maybe we can see what he's up to. You bet. Doing the work to get things done. Get in the mirror, and then I'll run back to Earth, where I'll be using this mirror to help me see. Cameron? Yeah, what? Suit me up. I'm going out there to stop Erwin and whatever it is he's doing to that telescope. But why it? I know it's dangerous, Emma, but I gotta do it. Um... I was just going to say that the spacesuit might be a little too big for you. Oh. <clears throat> uh, you can do it, Wyatt. Yeah, you got this. Let's get you in that suit. How do I look? Like a marshmallow. Well, marshmallows are my favorite. Ready, Wyatt? Let's do this. Initiating airlock and depressurization. <laughs> Opening airship door. Erwin! Hey! Erwin! Stop! Hello, Wyatt. How do you do? I've just concluded James 122. See, I have my mirror so I can remember who I am January through December. It's the second piece, the second hint to getting this Bible from the blueprint you gave to me and put in my mind. Now, if you'll excuse me and be so kind, back to Earth, that's where I'll be. On to find clue number three! No! I'm supposed to stop you! Wyatt! Wyatt! Come in! I'm here! But Erwin's gone! What happened? He took 
the telescope's mirror and dove back to Earth before it could stop him. Wyatt, it's Emma here. There's a good chance that Erwin won't make it back to Earth. The heat of Earth's atmosphere is incredibly intense. No, no, he'll make it. How do you know? He's made out of indestructible titanium. He's waterproof, fireproof, boogerproof, earthquake-proof, sandproof, cheese-proof. We get it, Wyatt. Come back to the airship. Roger that. Come in, squad. Were you able to catch the runaway robot? No, Rupert. Not even close. Logan's right. He got away. Oh, dear. And with a crucial part of the Herschel Satellite Telescope. Now, it won't be able to translate data back to Earth properly. But at least we know why Irwin seems to be collecting objects now. Right, Wyatt? Right, Cam. I mean, when Irwin stole the lighthouse light bulb before, I figured it had something to do with the five verses I uploaded into his system. Now that he's stolen the mirror based on James 1, 22 through 24, it's confirmed my theory. James 1, 22 through 24. Uh, be doers of the word and not hearers only, uh, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, uh, he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. Exactly! Erwin thinks in order to have the Bible, he needs to collect whatever the five verses point to. Even though James 1 is saying the Bible is like a mirror, showing us who we really are, Erwin has taken it to mean he needs an actual mirror. He thinks that these objects are what make up the Bible. But weren't you going to finish the Bible upload for him? Well, yes, but Erwin takes things quite literally. I mean, she took off from the complex because I didn't come back to him after an actual minute. And ever since then, well, it seems he's taking getting the Bible into his own robotic hands. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. Based on what you've told us, Erwin will continue to collect objects even if he destroys the whole town. Gabby, take us home. We've got a robot to catch. Today, we learn that the Bible is like a mirror. Not only does it help show us who we are, but it also reflects the mind of God. What's more, the Bible was written just for us by God. Its words tell us about who God is, the extraordinary things He's done for us, and how He wants us to live. If you follow God and what the Bible says, you'll see that every day can be an adventure with Him.